We are going to be painting the anemone. I think I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> it is one of the hardest words to pronounce. So we're gonna be painting in a more loose style today and we are going to do the red um, anemone. Okay, so typically when I do a loose style, I don't really sketch it out, but I am going to sketch it out just so it's a little more clear how we're drawing today. So this first anemone that I'm going to draw is a side view. So I'm gonna start with this lower um, petal right here. And just like this, we're gonna do little teeny petals. I think this flower has about maybe like 12 petals. And then it has this big area in the middle that is usually black. It has all these little, um, like teeny circles, that is not the proper name. <laughs> and then the stem comes down, we're gonna do, their leaves are kind of these squiggly guys. Kind of remind me of like parsley a little bit. That, and then I'm going to also draw one that's open. I'm just so, with the open one, I'm gonna start with a big circle in the middle and then just come around with these petals. And all the petals kind of overlap. So there's these and then there's a second layer behind that overlap, like that. And I'm gonna draw a second circle inside of here because we do wanna keep this white space out here. And let's also draw a little bud really quick. Okay, so we'll make the bud come out over here. Just kind of opening a little bit like that. And they have a pretty thick um, portion or a like bulb at the bottom and then a pretty thick stem. And we'll go ahead and give this one a stem as well that and we'll put some little leaves here it's kind of hard to know what these leaves look like because they're all kind of wrapped up in themselves okay there we have it and we are going to want to use a bright red because they are pretty brightly red so mix up a really good color red. I like Scarlet Lake. It's a really strong colored red. Kind of like a poppy red almost. and mix up maybe a little bit darker red on the side because we do want some variation in our artwork. Okay, so I have my red and we're painting in a loose style. So fill up your brush and we're going to want to point into the middle here, but we want to leave that portion white. And I'm just kind of curving, flattening, fanning my brush out. So point, curve around. Like that. Technically, you could come in a little bit more. And then maybe this next one, I'm doing it a lot lighter. Oops, I just got these everywhere. So pointing and then just kind of fanning out my brush and then filling it in. And maybe this one back here, I'm gonna make it a little darker. And you can let them touch. But make sure you leave just like a little, a little bit of space in the white of the paper. Since you are doing a loose style, if you just 
connect all of these, it's just gonna be a big red blob. And we want there to be some delineation between the petals. So just leave maybe like a little, little um, area right there. And this is looking really the same in tone. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of orange because I, I want it to look, I want it to look too bland. And it's okay if this starts bleeding into there a little bit, but because they're a little bit different in color, it's gonna look interesting. And this is much more saturated paint here, a lot darker. Watch out for this petal down here. All right. Now, if you want to add anything in here, so feel free to. I'm going to come in here with a little bit darker and just poke it in around the inside. Not for all the petals, but just a couple. Gives it a little variation. Maybe add a little orange to some. Okay. And then if this happens, just take your brush with some water and then pat it dry. I've been a bit of a messy painter lately. <laughs> okay, now moving on to this little bloom over here. Same thing, we're just gonna kind of point into that center area, fan our brush out and around, and leave just a little bit of white space so that you can tell that there's some different petals in here. Maybe use a little more water for this petal out here. Have it touch just a tad. I add a little water here and here. Okay, happy with that. And we can go ahead and make the center area. So I'm actually gonna use not a pure black, but Payne's gray and then a little Mars black. And I'm just gonna come in and make this circle. And we're gonna put all those little black dots in a little bit later, cause we're gonna extend them till some of them are gonna touch. So I don't wanna go in just right away and do that or it's gonna bleed really bad. I do want a little bit of bleeding, but not too much. Um, we can go ahead and I'm going to let, actually we can do this one. It is loose style, so if it touches and it bleeds a little bit, it's okay. This is our center right here. So we're gonna make sure to not touch it too much, but you won't be seeing any white right here because this is the center from a side view. I'm gonna add a little bit of orange. It's kind of a lot of bit of orange. And then for these petals, it's really just the side of the petal. So I'm grabbing a lot of red, really saturated paint. And I'm just gonna make it like this little line. And same thing over here. So I'm leaving a little bit of space so you can see through it and tell that it's a petal. Adding a lot more water. Just um, pressing my brush down to fan it out to make it a little wider. This one down here, just painting it. However you need to paint to get that shape. Same thing up here. I am gonna darken this a little bit by tapping in some paint. It's important when doing a loose style that you leave, I mean, I guess I already said this, but that you leave little areas of white. And then you also really focus on using variations with how much water you're using. So some of these petals are gonna be really light, but some of them are gonna be a lot darker. 
Um, if you don't do that, it's just gonna look like a big blob on your paper. So you have to have some space for it to breathe and for people to look at it and mentally think, oh, well, these look kind of like little petals. I'm gonna come up here and just dot in a little more red. I want it to be a little brighter. Maybe over here too. While it's wet, if you're adding in pigment, it's really going to just explode into whatever area still has water. Just so cool. Okay. And let's move on to the green before we go in and put the black. So the green just makes up a really it's not super limey green, but it's definitely like a grass green. So you want something green. <laughs> I've said green 5,000 times. You want something bright green, but not so bright green that it looks like a lime. And the way that you can kind of mellow this, so this color is really bright right now. I want to mellow it, so I'm going to add a, a little bit of red to it. And that was way too much red. So now I'm gonna add back in green <laughs> until I kind of get that color that I want. This green is a, kind of a bluish green, so it's adding it in a lot faster. Okay, that looks good to me. And just coming in with the tip of my brush and painting right here up into the stem. Yes, it is going to bleed, that is okay. And then painting this stem. And then maybe the next one, I grab a little more water so it's not so saturated. Maybe a little more yellow. And if you're looking at this and thinking, oh my God, that's bleeding way too much, I don't like that, just rinse off your brush, dry it on your paper towel, and then you can come in here and just pull up that color. Let's do the leaves. Just using the tip of my brush to get these little points in here. And adding in a little darker tone where I think it's necessary. Getting a little more water. Going to add in a little bit of darker green where I want it. I'm cool with these little paint bleeds. I think they look really cool. This guy coming through here. Gonna add a little more yellow. I am tearing through my arches paper this month. <laughs> Been painting so many flowers. Okay, and then I wanna grab a green that's slightly darker, just to make it look interesting. And I'm just gonna poke it in a few places. So don't put it everywhere, but in maybe some spots where it makes sense. Maybe I'm going to just add a little more green down here. Okay. Now we can go in back to that color, that kind of bluish black, and add just a little half circle here. Make that a little darker. And if you want, you can still use your size six brush, but if you would like to use something a little bit smaller to get those little, um, I mean, for lack of a better word, I guess they're little pieces of pollen, 
but to get those all around here, you can use something smaller. I'm using a size zero. And you're gonna go back to that um, black blue mixture. And I'm just gonna put in all of these little circles. Some of them are gonna touch the black, or I'm sorry, some of them are gonna touch the red. That's totally fine. I want them to, it's okay if they bleed a little bit. You're just really filling this in. And I some areas I'm gonna add a little water, kinda just let it bleed just to continue with our look. I'm actually gonna use my other brush. It's a little too skinny. And just add these in much faster with the bigger brush. I'm gonna put a little half circle here because there is an inner circle in here. And then make sure you're varying the saturation of your color a little bit, maybe adding a little more blue, adding a little more water, so it doesn't look like you're just doing the same thing over and over in here. Pretty. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. This one's a little more wet, so it is going to bleed a bit more. If that bothers you, just wait until it dries a little bit. But I'm okay with that. I like it. Awesome. So there you have it. Really simple ane anemones. If anybody knows how to phonetically pronounce that correctly, please let me know in the comments. <laughs> I hope I didn't irritate too many people. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to teaching you a new flower next week.